I suppose it is tempting, if the only thing you have is a hammer, to treat everything as if it was a nail. This quote by Abraham Maslow, said in 1966, refers to the law of the instrument or Maslow's hammer. It refers to a cognitive bias to overly rely on a familiar tool. And if you think about it, it could also refer to your Gallup Strengths Finder results, also known as Clifton Strengths. See, the Clifton Strengths assessment identifies your predominant talent themes. Gallup defines talent as a naturally recurring pattern of thought, feeling, or behavior that can be productively applied. I emphasize the naturally recurring pattern part of the definition. You can think of these patterns as tools that you can pick up at any time. They're probably so natural to who you are that you haven't fully grasped how specific they are to you and that not everybody can do these things as easily as you can. Somebody who's comfortable with this drill might not be so comfortable with paint and a paintbrush. You probably undervalue these abilities within you and you get frustrated with others when they can't do these same things as easily as you can. For example, it's easier for people with the relator or empathy talent themes to think of others and be able to build relationships with them. Or for somebody who has the strategic or ideation talent themes to come up with new approaches or ideas to challenges. But it's not that easy for everyone. If we apply Maslow's hammer to your talent themes, it's likely you're applying your talents in autopilot mode in all situations at all times. And sometimes that's actually working against you. I discovered this when I was working with a coach over 10 years ago in my previous career when I was a product manager. I had to go through a 360 degree evaluation where coworkers at all levels had to give feedback on me. This included team members, bosses, customers, colleagues at all levels. What was interesting and confusing was that the same patterns of thinking and behaving that contributed to my strengths were the same patterns of thinking and behaving that contributed to my weaknesses. For example, my adaptability, which is great for emergencies, or when there was a change in strategies, plans, or even priorities, was not great when I had to enforce hard boundaries, or when I needed to give a simple no upfront. My tendency was to be accommodating, and some people felt that I was too accommodating. When you think about yourself, your strengths, and your weaknesses, are you starting to see how your Clifton Strengths talent themes are contributing to them? What observations are you making? Tell me in the comments below, what are your discoveries? So going back to thinking of your talents, those patterns, like tools that you can pick up at any time, they become strengths when we're using them at the right time, but they become weaknesses when they get in the way of your success or they hurt you or others. The problem is that we pick up a few favorites and we try to use them all the time. This is a great opportunity to break out of autopilot mode. Take stock. Are there patterns that are helping you in one part of your life, but are hurting you in another? For example, you may be spectacular at creating a list of things to do. This works great for work, running errands, planning your week, even getting stuff done at home. But do you need to have a list when you're casually hanging out with friends on a day off? Does that list get in the way of connecting with others, or being able to appreciate spontaneous moments. Sometimes the difference between using your talents as strengths or weaknesses is just a matter of choosing when and where you're using them. Think back to your talents, in this case tools. Is it possible that you can apply those patterns in different scenarios? You can turn up or dial back the intensity, but can you stretch your talents constructively in new directions? Thinking back to Maslow's hammer, we don't have to just think hammer and nail. What about mallet or gavel or even sledgehammer? Or we can stretch our talents in a different direction. Familiar doesn't necessarily mean better. There are moments when our usual tools are worn or they've lost their effectiveness in a particular situation. How about leaning into other talent themes to approach that topic? For example, how do you eat? Do you use your hands, a fork, maybe chopsticks? They all accomplish the same thing, they're just using different tools. If you've made it this far in the video, I congratulate you. It means that you're not just thinking about your Clifton Strengths talent themes on a surface level. You're really starting to think about how, when, and where you're using your talents. Now you're at a point where you can be more conscious of whether you're using your talents as strengths 
or weaknesses. In different scenarios, you can say to yourself, yes, I definitely want to move forward or no, I think I'm going to hold back on this one. If you want to go even further, I invite you to my free Talent in Action Masterclass. It's a free class where we go deeper into how your talent themes impact you day to day and how you can use them to transform different aspects in your life. It's a free masterclass. It's available right now. Simply register using the link in the description. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you want to learn more, I recommend this video on how and where to use your StrengthsFinder results. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.